the easiest way to do bubbles with gel in this video coming up. Hello, I'm Anastasia and for this design I will need a few colors of brown, tiramisu, brownie, caramel, wow, they all sound so yummy, hush and bright white and the no cleanse top coat couple of files and the ombre brush and foam cleanser yes the one you use to wash your face in the mornings but first we need to remove the old product and it's been five and a half weeks i think almost six weeks because i was on a business trip then i was on vacation so i have to file off the old product and now my nails are long enough so i can finally reshape them into oval or more like almond shape and for natural nails i personally think that oval or almond is one of the most comfortable shapes to wear so i'm filing off the corners and when doing oval shape make sure that the center line is always in the center and the most challenging part is to do this oval similar on all 10 nails looks like we're done here and next part will be manicure i will be working with a nail drill and this one is usually called russian manicure when you combine nail drill with implements and now i will show you how it usually works so first i will push up the cuticle and clean the sidewall with a flame bead and then i will do the same thing but on the opposite side so now it is spinning in the opposite rotation reverse and the speed is around 15 to 20 thousand rotations per minute and when i'm done when the cuticle is all pushed up then i will simply trim it with the scissors you can also use nippers or tweezers but i personally prefer using scissors and yes i could trim it with the e-file as well but my skin is rather sensitive so if i would do that on the camera my fingers will look red for a while so that's why i decided to do scissors this time now it's all nice and clean and it is time to do the design first i will apply dehydrator and next one will be non-acid primer only on the free edge if you experience troubles with gel overlay peeling from the free edge i recommend you to try this simple trick next will be base coat and i will apply a thin layer of the base coat the brand i am using in this video is called mystique this is russian brand and they seem to have an english version of their website so i will leave the link down below just in case if you guys are interested so when you apply the base coat make sure to cure it for 30 seconds in led and then i will apply the color when working on myself i always use this plastic clip to push back my fat sidewalls so this first color is called caramel this is a light brown color and even within one coat the color was pretty intense and that is kind of cool and by the way even when i'm working on myself i usually do not do this i just apply one coat on all five nails and then i do the second coat it just i decided to show you each color so that's why it's showing like i am applying first coat and then the second coat I've seen this bubble gel nail art on the YouTube, on Instagram. I like the one by Vincent Nails and by Kirsty from Neo Nails. And I was like, hey, this one with the foam looks kind of fun. So I just had to try it. And then I saw this collection of fall brown colors. And it immediately reminded me of this foam that you usually have on your coffee. So the idea behind this design is that for each nail I will use the darker color. So it will be kind of like a color fade, but within the whole hand. So I use the lightest brown that they have on the pinky, and then I switch to the darker and the darker colors. So on the index finger, this color is almost close to black, but on my thumb, I will use the one that is even darker so i think it will look kind of cool even though the colors are intense they still look better when you have two coats so i apply the first one fully cured for 30 seconds and only after that you can apply the second one so now we're done i applied a very thin two coats to do the design i will use the same colors but i will also take another one which is lighter and a bright white 
Then I will take the drops of the top coat and place them right near the colors. I will use ombre brush and let's start the design. So I do not want to cover the whole nail with bubbles because my nails are already pretty short and small. So I want just, you know, a light bubbling uh, effect somewhere on the side. So I'm starting from the darkest color, then I switch to the lightest one. I mix them with the top coat so there is more top coat than the color in the mixture and I'm creating some kind of a color fade there. So when you're adding light colors such as white or light brown, make sure they're also faded in the dark one. Then apply the foam and quickly cure it in LED for 30 seconds. Now let's clean the foam and whoa, it worked and we have a color fade together with the bubbles. And do not worry that some of the bubbles kind of went outside of the nail. We can simply fix it with the file later. I am doing the same thing here, but I decided to place light and white color closer to the cuticle so the foam will be located in a different part. Apply the foam, cure, and here we have another bubbling look. Ooh, these bubbles are bigger. I noticed that if you would like to have a small bubbles, you need to shake this foam first, but if you want the bigger ones, you do not want to do this. So as we go lighter, I'm adding more of the dark colors so they will look the opposite, more contrast on this background. And the last nail, the pinky, is light. So I will be adding more dark colors, but do not forget about the same color of the background so it will all be faded. Apply the foam and cure and we have bubbles here again. Now if we take a look at them, we can see that there is some kind of the 3D on top. But since we want a smooth nails, I will first clean them with a cleanser so we will not have any soap on the nails. And then with the file lightly, I will file off the remaining extra bubbles that are not within the nail. And also I will use a light buffer, about 220 grit, to file all the volume that we have on top. And by the way, if you are doing not overlay, if you are doing an actual extensions, this should never be a problem because you can simply encapsulate it all. I'm just really interested in having a super thin nails now. So you see, after buffing, we still have this look and now these bubbles, they're super thin, like a thin coat of the gel. Now clean it once again, so it will be all clean from the dust and now we're going to seal them. To avoid having small bubbles when covering the bubbles, you need to do the following. Apply non-acid primer inside the bubbles first and then cover them with a top coat once again. Non-acid primer only on the bubbles and a thin coat of the base coat covering only the bubbles part. Cure it all and after that I'm going to seal it with a top coat. And since all the layers including base coat and color were super thin, I'm going to build a little structure with the top coat. So I apply a layer first and then I will be adding a small drop on the top and build the structure. When sealing with the top coat, I'm using this paper clip again because my sidewalls are not letting me create the structure that I want. Repeat the same on the rest of the nails. So originally my idea was to create some kind of a foam on the cappuccino or coffee, but when I showed it to my friends, most of them had completely different associations, such as, oh, is this cheetah design, or is this lava, or is this something on the tree, I don't know. So I have a question for you guys, what does this look remind you of? because I can clearly see the coffee or the hot chocolate foam on it. If you haven't tried this design yet, I encourage you to do that because it is super easy and fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you are first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as you will be able to learn from me and watch new tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.